Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new, please make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button to be a part of the Lola gang. <laughs> um, click the bell to get the uh, notifications and um, drop down in the comment section. And I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can do that too, but drop down, get your ego on girl. I don't know why that's stuck. Uh, anyway, um, in the description bar is a link to my Chatterbox, um, where it's a paid channel membership. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents a month. I did keep it at the lowest pay level, um, just so I can have more people join. Um, anyway, um, yeah, and you do have to be eighteen years old for that. But anyway, if you can't, that's fine. Stay here in the gym pop. General population, that's what I call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Baby Piper. And I decided to keep go ahead and keep that name. I posted it. Auntie said they think it was a cute name for her. So I said, okay, let's, let's do that. Um, Piper is the um, half pint by Marita Winters. She is literally a half pint <laughs> she's 15 inches um i haven't weighed her yet we will probably do that in a video maybe or maybe i'll, I'll weigh her but i'm gonna guess that she's probably only like no more than three pounds that's what i'm gonna think i think she yeah she may be three and a half pounds but it'll be interesting to see what her weight is and i think or my, I think I might start a little book and keep a record of, um, start keeping a record of my baby's weights and stuff. The ones that I'm done playing with their weight because I do tend to reweight them sometimes. So, yeah. So anyway, I was watching um, K Times Two Nursery Channel, which I I shouted <clears throat> that channel out maybe a year ago or something like that and I, I usually I'll I don't do a lot of shout outs and stuff like that but if I find a channel that I really like sometimes I'll mention them in my video or if I uh, piggyback off of one of their topics I'll mention them and sometimes I'll be like oh I hope I don't regret it later because you know sometimes how this community work we don't always all get along or agree with each other and you know people have fallouts whatever whatever and but she is not disappointed um she is still very fun video to, uh, channel to watch great topics the one thing about it is even if i don't agree with everything that she might be saying sometime um I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it because I know it's genuine and it's coming from a genuine place. At least I feel it is anyway. Um, Sometimes we get caught up in politics and videos where people actually... The video is not for their audience but for a specific person if that makes sense. Like my video may not be... The motivation behind my video may not be to educate you guys but to... Um, discredit somebody else or disagree with somebody else or you know some personal feud might be going on that the audience have no clue about and then you end up with some misguided misled information because you've been caught up in the midst of some petty drama that you have no clue about that's the part about the doll community that is a little tricky and it's a little hard for people that are new in the community and I really I really always feel bad for it people that you hear like a whole bunch of wrong information and sometimes I'd be like oh uh-uh I'd be shaking my head so hard that's not right that's not right you know <laughs> and not that I know it all but it's just that you know I think the difference between me and I'm not comparing I'm, I'm I'm not talking about anyone in specific I'm not this video I'm just talking okay don't get in your feelings and if you do I can't help you go pray about it but um I know I probably just lost some subscribers for that rude comment but anyway the point is is that um I lost my point I forgot 
see what I'm talking about? This is the kind of stuff. But no. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh my gosh. This is why you can't just sit down and record like I do. But, <clears throat> oh yeah. So, new people, you know, they get a little lost. And they're looking to people that's been collecting for a while for experience. I think one of the things that's that I, I like when I find a channel, I like to hear people go through their raw emotions and journey. Um, you know, to actually go back to like, to prime example, um, Kay has a silicone baby that she purchased. Um, it was a custom transaction. You go to her channel, you can follow the story, which is nice. That's what I like. You can follow it, you know. And, you know, it's not that she doesn't like the doll per se, you know, based off of what, you know, she's saying. It's just, she's just not connected to the doll. And, you know, I have bought some really great babies from people that just was like, I just can't bond. And sometimes it'd be as simple as, I don't like that they put a pimple on the baby. Or I don't like that the hair is straight when it should have been curly. Or I don't like because I want it darker and this is lighter. Or I was lighter and this is darker. Or it's got a little bit too much shading for me. It'd be something so simple and minute. And then boom. I got the baby that I actually really like. So I think sometimes too with the community being a lot more people that actually like to follow the most popular you know, trend. That sometimes they miss out on things because... They're like, oh, she don't want it. I don't want it. Well, all right, whatever. But anyway, um, what I was saying is I feel like, you know, in one minute she was like, I'm going to go ahead and keep them. Next minute it was not. It's nice to see that because I do that sometimes. You'll see me do a video. Oh, this baby is forever. I'm going to keep it. The next minute, uh, uh, no, I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and sell it. You know, but you guys get to see all that up and down the process the, the way that you know it's really cool to see collectors that I'm not the only one that go through these different emotions and stuff like that but I think when you go back to my first videos I think back in 2013 you can see my transition you can see me evolve my collection grow and change and how I got to being able to afford some of the more expensive babies, you know, it wasn't like one day I woke up and I had money and I just was able to just spend money. So when I speak, I actually speak from experience. And I think, you know, also, um, whether people want to believe it or not, I also speak from a place of brokenness. No, <laughs> girl, what? No, let me not say that. But I, I, I go speak. I'm rich, rich, I'm rich. No, but um, but no, for real. Um, I, I am. Um, a lot of people be like, oh, she must be got money because she's buying all these expensive dolls. Well, I used to, and um, but it's not that. You, I think because I come from a place where my money, every penny counts. Um, I. A bargain shopper in most things even when I buy my babies I want the best bang for my buck um, it has to be something I really really love um, but I do something that's people some people strongly disagree with I look at resale value the resale market and I tell you I didn't do it in the beginning but I started doing it after I realized that because in the beginning I was like Girl, I don't see how they be selling their babies because, ooh, child, like, uh-uh, this baby is my real baby. Like, I can't be doing it. He ain't going to be able to sleep without me. Uh-uh. And all this and stuff. And I was like, I ain't never going to sell my babies. I had about 20 reborns up in my collection. And I was like, but I wanted to try silicone one time. So I was like, mm. So I sold, like, two a three, I think I sold like three, cause back then I was only paying like two hundred dollars a piece, two hundred three fifty at the most for my reborn. So I sold like about three of them to get this one partial silicone baby. Hush, don't judge me. That was probably like eight hundred dollars that I was like, it was just a big to do for me. 
But guess what? When I when I saw them babies sell so easy, and that was how I could get another baby, I was like, oh, okay, I might be on or something. Then when I wanted my full body, my first full body was like twenty five hundred. Well, I had got a little boo boo one. That don't count, child. Who child? That's a whole nother story, child. The baby came with one nipple pain, and it went little anyway. So, um. It was 2500 or whatever, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. It was somewhere in that price range. So I sold about seven, eight, nine babies. I was like, put in. No, no, no. I take that back. That wasn't my first. Yeah, the, whatever the first one was, whatever it was. Anyway, I, it was not 2500 It was like maybe 1500 And I sold like seven or eight babies for it. So anyway, my story, my point is, is that. I had to sell to get where I was at. So when I speak from a place and say something is an investment, I know that this is art. And you, you know, I had a strong debate with a close friend of mine the other day about this, rather it's an investment. Cause she's like, no, it's the dolls cannot be investments. You know, they, they're, you know, they're, they're not, they're not, going to they don't always hold their value da, da, da. no it's an investment anytime i you know it depends on how you look at things you know in life you invest yourself in relationships you call that an investment are you gonna get out what you put into it not all the time but it's still investing you're investing a part of you into it but i think when you come from a place where you're not privileged or you don't have the money that just flow or the resources, the good credit. Lord, I almost said Becky with the good credit. Okay, I can't say that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so silly. But you know what I mean? I'm like, so I think you look at things a little different. I think because $500 to me feels very different from a person, a collector that make you know a hundred grand a year or you know that has you know just money just flowing have credit cards with sixty seventy thousand dollars on it i think five hundred dollars to them is like five dollars although i will say people with money usually the reason why they got money is because they're good with their money but at the same time there's a point where some people just it's it's nothing to them it doesn't it doesn't mean as much to us and regardless of what people think that's where i am in my collecting i don't want to always be where 500 dollars means so much to me trust me every day i'm doing stuff in the background to elevate myself however this is where i'm at right now and it's not it's listen i don't have i want to show y'all that she can fit my favorite diapers i want i like her and is more than I got another preemie diaper that, but it's put away that I was going to try her on, but I had to get her dressed before bed last night. This is what she slept in, tucked in, and I found the little other socks, but I realized they got more blue on it. So now people are going to be like, oh, she's a cute boy, but these are the other socks and they have the pink bottom, but that's okay. It's blue and pink. It match her little hat. I'm going to roll her hat up in a minute. And I was going to put her on a pink onesie, which is just a regular preemie um top which she fits really nice which i was happy about that um i'm gonna actually maybe switch her into the pink i should have brought it in here later but i like them in fresh white you know just born type situ situ situations but yeah um but yeah i think if people start looking at things my way a little bit now don't get me wrong we gonna all invest in something that we already know may not be, you know, it might not be in high demand, but it's something that we really love. And I think that's where some people may be like, okay, you know, these dolls can't be investments. So from that stance, standpoint, I get what they're saying because if you really love something and you want it, just like your ugly boyfriend that was so ugly and nobody else want him, but you said, girl i love that boy and you went ahead and you you went with him even though your girlfriend was like girl i couldn't even stand to look at him 
you ain't care. That's the same way with the babies. Y'all might be like, oh, that baby cross-eyed. I don't like the way she positioned her eyes, this, that, and another, and the third. But guess what? If you want it, you're going to pay for it regardless. And it ain't going to matter because you're going to be saying, I don't care. If I lose money, if I don't like it, the resale, whatever, it is what it is. It's always an exception. It's never a, a black and white situation. Um, okay, so I'm not saying that every single purchase you make you're gonna be like um every single purchase you make you're gonna be like okay so let me go see how much they're selling for just in case it's not that kind of way it's like a general thing it's like what I'm saying is don't buy something that is really overpriced I should maybe I should say it more like that and that would make more sense that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying don't buy something that's way overpriced and you get yourself stuck into a situation. We all going to buy something that we think is good and it might not be. Or we might buy something that we thought was a good buy and it might not be. And we all going to get something that even if it is good quality, nice baby, and you still may not like it. Listen. I don't want to call out people names or nothing like that. But like I told y'all before, I have bought from all different levels and have had babies from all different levels. From the low end, the rookie, you know, artist to the to the master artist that I've had a baby that was like, this ain't it for me. You know what I mean? This ain't it for me. And so, it, you know, and then I wish people would stop qualifying dolls as high end based off of how much they their, their the price is that is not high end high end is quality um the style of the doll the the sculpting of the doll for me this is this is what i can i define high end for high end is the sculpting the realism of the painting the sculpting even the rooting um the uh quality materials that are sent listen i have paid twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars for a reborn that had crap in it that made me want to reach out and slap somebody i was like so you tell me that out of all the money that you're charging for these freaking dolls that you couldn't put no real glass beads in this baby like you couldn't use real poly fluff like you really using stuff like cotton balls in these babies really like, you know, so, and people would be like, oh, that's high end because of how much I paid for it. No, it's it's not, baby. No, it's, you know, but I'm going to take, I'm going to wait. Let me, let me autocorrect myself though. The painting level, the painting level of the baby was more upscale. So I could forgive that waiting stuff because I can change the waiting out because the waiting material only going to cost you that's why I don't understand it that's what really ticks me off I guess I shouldn't say that it's not high end but I don't know it, I don't want to I don't want to say too much about that situation but I'm going to say um the waiting material only costs it's the least expensive part I think you really paying for the painting on on the dolls. You really paying for the painting and the sculpt. Um, just like you know, say for instance, Maggie. Maggie is a sold out sculpt. If she's painted and rooted, I mean, people are selling her blank sculpt for four and five hundred dollars. Blank. You ain't even got no paint. You ain't got no eyes. You ain't got nothing. That's five hundred dollars already. Just the blank sculpt. So you think somebody gonna sell you that doll for eight hundred dollars? No. Definitely not. So, you know, when you take, when you consider that type of stuff, I think I went all off the off place because I'm, I'm like that. But when you take a highly sought after sculpt, very nicely sculpted, okay? Because some of these sculpts, I'd be like, baby, that ain't it. Like, I can't, that's a whole other subject. Anyway, you, you got a nicely sculpted sculpt. And that's all preference and opinion too. Um, realistic. They use realistic eyes, nice eyes, quality eyes. You know, and 
you got nicely quality mohair or if y'all use human hair whatever the painting is nice the materials that they're weighting the doll with is nice that's high end period it ain't about who the artist is it's an, I, I had this discussion as well about what how many quality dolls are out here what percentage I think is of quality dolls that's out here I think it's about 70% to be honest I think that we have so many quality dolls out here but only a few is on the radar for being most popular or big to do to do to do um, it might not be my taste there's one artist out here that people love her work I would never bring her doll in my collection period point blank I don't even want to try for a giveaway but people love it but do I think her dolls are quality absolutely I do I think her work her technique is nice I think her rooting is nice I think her presentation is nice I think it's a very high-end quality made doll but do I want it absolutely hell no I don't like the coloring I don't like it I don't like the, the combination of the styles that she put together for it absolutely not not my cup of tea but I will say I would still say that she should be in the market the the bracket of being considered a high-end artist because she's doing her thing and people like her thing it's just not my thing and I think so that's it you know so this community is built off a lot of opinion based stuff because it's art I don't care how you want to look at it it's still art Piper tell them they may say you little peanut <laughs> ain't worth but 20 cents and mama say it to no no <laughs> my 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 book are worth millions <laughs> That's that's the other thing. A lot of people they they don't want to pay a lot for the little ones, so I won't make too many of those other than for myself because I I feel like I have to put more work into the little ones than the bigger ones, and I'm I'm not I'm not doing that for free. So anyway, that is it. This is a very long video. I will talk to you guys later. I just had a lot to say. I guess. Bye.